and good day, everyone. This is Mel from Everything Marmy. Wow. Welcome to the end of the month. It is Tuesday, the 31st of October, 2023. And most of you know, if you live in the Western world anyway, that today is Halloween, which is a special occasion for little kids. Uh, Australia had their um, their special day yesterday. They're a whole day ahead. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna come right out and say that this video, my goodness, folks, this video, I'm gonna fly by the seat of my pants. I do almost every video, but this one in particular, uh, especially since this is the last video, uh, live, like, like in the present form, I should say, that you're going to be seeing for the month um, upcoming. Now, I do have videos that I've uploaded. Uh, unboxings, I have uh, uh, what's in your purse in there. I have, um, I think I have a comparison of a couple of like uh, covers. I have like I, I just uploaded all these smaller kind of videos. They're certainly not going to be an hour long. And what I plan on doing is um, I've decided I've, I'm have i going to do sort of like a, a video log, if you will. Uh, it's probably going to be shorter of how I'm doing with not being uh, online every day in the sense of coming on here and talking with all of you. Um, but those ones, those particular videos, uh, I don't know if I'll upload them. I don't know about the challenge. I'm going to speak with my a couple of my daughters about that, if they think about it, I'm going to be reading the offline book, which I'll show you. I've got a couple of references to show you today, and I have this book here, which is my Commit 30. Again, to my friend Tammy um, from Tater Tots Nursery. Thank you so much, darling. She uh, got me this book. Um, all I did really was pay for the shipping, and... She wanted to do something special for me, and she went ahead and she got me this book, and I, I love it. I really, really wish that way back when, um, I kept with it. Of course, uh, I'm just giving you a quick flip here now. I didn't because I was in a one book system, and I love that. Look at that gingham dress there. Isn't that gorgeous? I did all sorts of decorating here in, in a sense. I put on these coloring pages to, you know, hide what was underneath. I don't even know what was underneath. Um, I did not do my vision here. I... I really, truly didn't know at the time I was going to use this as a health log. And then that sort of, do you see how I use sticker backing here? Um, that didn't come to fruition, that book. Why? Because packing this around would have been, uh, it, it, it's an, just shy of an A5 size, guys. And uh, yeah, it, I had to pack around a smaller uh, book with me. Now, a lot of uh, videos I've watched, um, people have said they don't like this color. I happen to really like this color. Um, but why is that stuck? Did I glue that? Why is that? Hmm. I'm not sure what I did here. Oh, I think I put that paper down. Uh, obviously, because then I got to check, you see? 
Okay, yeah, I did. I used like double-sided tape because it was just giving me instructions. And I thought, well, I don't, I don't really need instructions for how to use a, a, a planner. Um, everybody, everybody uses a planner in their own way. So I just covered that up. But because this color was so close to this color, you see, I thought it was part of it, but I managed, I guess, to find another color. So I didn't get it in January. I got it, let's see. I got it, just bear with me, probably in May sometime. I wasn't faring well in May. I had a lot going on and yeah, I started it in June. So I got it probably the week of the 22nd to 28th. I put down some stuff here Morning, afternoon, evening was how I was going to do it instead of like timings because there are timings down the, the, um, the side here that go from five in the morning to seven at night. And I will show you. Oh, you know what? I didn't put my light. This light, by the way, does not last for an hour. So um, I will put it on, but it will burn out. So if you notice, you know, but it does start at five and it goes to seven at night. And then you've got these three rows down here. You got notes, uh, life to do. That's quite an interesting way of putting it and work to do. Okay. So then I got to June. And June, I put down these stickers. I wanted a little bit cheerful. Uh, it says small steps, big results. This is quite interesting. At the time when I got this planner, guys, I, I was not walking and I, <laughs> I wasn't thinking steps as in physical steps. I was thinking steps as in mental steps, you know? So, my first commit 30 was exercise, walking, or other acts of physical movement. And I thought that it was a win. I didn't fill out any of the monthly goals, but there was only two days where I didn't, you know, walk. And uh, I put shoes and hearts I walked with the stroller over to Gorge Park with Nova Lee. I do have a reborn doll channel called Melamory Nursery. Um, that was the first time I ever put a doll of mine in a stroller to walk. And yes, folks, I needed a stroller or a walker for balance. And actually that video is up on my other channel. Uh, and I actually walked to that, that park from my house. I was being very ambitious and that was something else. Um, nature does not hurry yet. Everything is accomplished. Isn't that something? So I did basically just put pen to paper and I quite like the look. I did put some washi down at the bottom. I did. I love this washi. This is Mama Lay's by the look of it. Yeah. Um, she's got really cute designs. And so I did the whole month of June to July. And then this is a photocopy of a very thick book. And then July with success begins with a plan. Well, um, I didn't write out any goals or anything over here. And then... I did want to have a no spend. Now, ever since July, <laughs> I've been trying to go no spend. That's four months ago, guys, okay? Um, for the act of self-control. So I did start a budget book. I wanted to understand all the temptations 
all the emotional reasons that I was spending. And you know what, regardless of, you know, when I look back, uh, regardless of whether or not I achieved the no spend, I did become aware of what is impulsive purchases and what isn't. I did start adding cash to my savings. And I did ask myself, do I need this or do I want this? I did do these things, even though I still spent. Okay, so I had like four no spend days and then I dropped off. But actually I dropped off the whole planner because I went to a one book system. Yeah, and that's where she was left off. And I'm just flipping. August was start each day with a grateful heart. There's nothing in here. And then September came along and I thought, you know what? I'm going to decorate this. And that's when I did this because this cover is basically this cover here. The same cover. And you're going to get that ring light showing here. Sorry about that. Um, and these covers were purchased at AliExpress with a notebook for like $21. Very cheap. Um, and these are all the things of embracing fall, but I actually didn't use the planner. I decorated it. I did one week of decorating it. I'm not really a weekly person. Here's the thing. I'm not really a weekly person, which is interesting, isn't it? Um... And this is a vertical and I prefer horizontal, but you know what? Uh, you see the stickers don't quite fit in the boxes here, but that's okay. So I did September 25th to October 1st and then October came along, nothing was done. And then now we are in November and this came with the book. The book actually, um, if I slide it out of here, so it fits inside with a cover. It does have one of these little bands, which I just tucked back there. It has a pocket here. It's got some stickers and stuff in the back that it came with. I've put some extra stickers back there by the looks of it too. A lot of no spends, happy faces. So, um, and then I just love florals, so of course I I put some florals on here as well. And I took a blue notes notebook and I cut out the pocket so I could add things in it here and just taped it on. Okay, that's what I did. And then some of these got, you know, these papers were taken out of another book. I glued them together and added them for some note pages. This is what the pages are normally. You see the blue or the brown at the top here, or the tan. And I just added some extra. Okay, so I added some extra. But you get a fair amount of note pages from the company. It's a really great, I think this is a great way to go. Um, the commit 30. If I had found this book and if I didn't live in Canada because they no longer deliver to Canada, um, this would probably have been the way to go. And I think I expressed that in another video as well, but that was just my humble opinion. Uh, it does have a cover on cover from the Hobonichi, which is why you see that there. And so here we are. Here we are. Now I'm not going to do any, oh, that's December. So we're going to, this is November. This is November and I have a bookmark. So where are we going to put that right here? Maybe. Okay. So with you guys today, I'm hoping to lay down a sticker kit. Um, I'm hoping to talk about the month of November <clears throat> where you won't see me. 
Um, let's just move this book for a second. I'm going to talk to you about the little contest I had going on on my channel yesterday. And um, what I decided to do. I'm going to talk to you about my choice for going offline for a month. I'm just trying to see what what will inspire me for those those pumpkins are so pretty. Pink fall. You know what? I, I quite like those. And, you know, I really don't care that November pumpkin season officially is over or not over. I I don't really, you know, I don't care. There's going to be stickers every year anyway. Um, the Foxes has the white pumpkins. And I don't want to over crowd the page. Okay, so pink plastics. Look how cute these ones are. Pink plastic from Busy Bee Planners. Aren't those cute? And these are wildflowers. I love Busy Bee uh, Planners. I really do. And then there's Jane really like Jane. You can tell I like the more muted colors. And then I got some houses and things like that. But let's just see here because I'm trying to show you guys. Because I got some of these all mixed up, I can tell. It's not surprising to me. So this is a bookstore. And the HP is Happy Planner. Uh... I was this year's old when <laughs> oh, I saw I saw a thing that says tag. Did you guys know tag was like tag? When I was a kid, we played tag, right? That usually meant like somebody would push us and we'd fall down and you're it, right? It means touch and go. Where was the touch? There was no touch. Uh-uh. I played with boys and those boys just like, they would like hammer you down. These are beautiful, these ones here. What did I do with those? I'm like stacking crap everywhere. And that, that is my arm. <laughs> what I was gonna say, and that is the result of having, you know, a lot of different kits and stuff. But I, I like how little these are. And bookstores, kind of reminds me of like Harry Potter-ish. Um, yeah i'm not sure where that one comes from so you know there's a lot of sunflower ones here she sent like this whole thing was freebies um there's a little ghosty girl for today we'll leave her aside i do have a lot more but these Busy be this whole set here. I don't. I don't know. I think it was about uh, for the whole set. It was probably twenty three ninety nine or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Each shop has a different uh, price point. I'm not sure what I paid. I'm not sure. Um, I'm just saying. Now I just have to decide. Right. My goodness. See, I've got more stickers down the side here. All the foxes. But you guys can't see. You guys can't see at all. Because I'm like inundated with stickers at the moment. But I really like the pink pumpkins. These, I think, are going to be too big for the boxes. But... I like the white ones too, so we'll put those over there. The hedgehogs are out of there. We've used those. And the foxes and the white pumpkins. 
are also out of there because I think I've used the foxes before too. So yeah, a person can get caught up in stickers and stickers do take a lot of time. Um, and what I like about this company is of course it's a Canadian company. Okay, so I'm just kind of getting myself semi-organized, folks. Thank you for your patience. Because huh? <laughs> without you, I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. So I'm just going to put them there. But, but all of these, you know, all of these I've just kind of put in there. Um, it, some of these are super old, guys. Super old. There's my Alice in Wonderland. Um, I've made, oh gosh, nine, nine, ten. I don't know. I love these Tawana Simone stickers too. Absolutely love them. I think I show you guys this every single time. But a lot of you just love like going down memory lane and looking at stickers because uh, Gen X, you know, and if you're Gen X, that just simply means that you're born in the 70s. You're Well, I was born in the early 70s. Um, but my, my teen years, right? My preteen, my teen years, all of that were in the eighties and my God, like that's 50 years ago, right? Like, well, I'm not 60, so 40 years ago. Um, and things were so, so different. Like our generation like we were the last to write like letters and the first to learn computers and the, you know like we we, we had a pecking order out in the, the playing field and oh my gosh like just so much stuff so I'm gonna leave those out okay leave those out for now get that book put up there pray it doesn't fall on me okay so that's what I think we're gonna do there and we're going to be quick about it. Now, before we begin, I asked three questions yesterday. In my, and I, I guess I lied, didn't I? I lied because I said that this book would never be shown again. But look, guys, I did put it in the, look at this. Look at this planner. In the. I'd been wanting these planners forever. These covers, I'm talking about um, hand-stitched leather tees. And I have, I ordered actually uh, this one first. I'm really off topic. I ordered this one first. Okay, it's got little bookmarks and stuff. And I didn't know what I was doing. So I ordered it with this back pocket, and I, I don't know, guys, like, it might be sacrosanct, but this back pocket might be coming off. This is for my Hobonichi Weeks. And then you guys have seen... I just use this, by the way, to close up my sticker book that we just looked at. This one I have for the Moleskine... This is just a notebook, but it will be for the dailies. Now, hand stitch leather tea, guys, they are affordable and beautiful. And I just love this chunky strap. This is in the color to back. And so I went on to order a B6, an A5, and a pocket. Okay. Because when I ordered this one, I ordered this first. I had no idea what I was doing. But it worked out well because it fit the weeks. Um, they were very kind when they made them for me. And the only reason I bring that up is because the people behind the hand stitch leather tee, I wish I could remember their names. Folks, if you want to deal with people that actually care, <laughs> like seriously care, um, they do. Now, 
I was showing you, and I'm just going to briefly show you. I'll take this sticker off. Okay, because I'd asked, and this weekly here. Right here it says, rate this week, and then word of the week. What should my word of the week be? Then I said, Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. And then I said, what should be in this box? Okay, let's keep that open. I went down the 11 comments so far on that video. And some of you gave me like one, two, three people gave me partial answers meaning one or two out of three. And there were one, two, three, four of you that gave me three answers. So I went back and I checked, except for, why didn't I write your time down, love? I think yours was also 11 hours ago. Okay, so I went back and checked when everybody did so that was eight hours ago 11 hours ago 15 hours ago 11 hours ago okay and then everybody else like you know and you had great ideas you know like for this box here okay so melissa mcconan mcconan she was one of the ones that said and for word of the week, possibilities. Because you showed us that there are endless possibilities with our planners. Thank you so much, Melissa. That was very, very touching and kind. Two is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yes, why did I pick that? Not just because it fit, but because that was the one movie, the one movie of the 80s that I think proved to us that we can break the rules. Break them. If it is worth it enough, you break the rules. I used to tell my kids that. If it's worth the consequences, regardless of whatever rules or law or whatever, then do it. Okay? Okay. And then word uh, number three for the question three was what should go in this box was word of inspiration. The problem I have with that is I've got word of the week here and then word of inspiration. So, Melissa, thank you, love. But I think that's too many words. Okay, moving on to Sarah Gust. Of Gust I, I'm sorry, guys, if I butcher your names. I'm really, really sorry. Gust of, um, Gust of, oh, my God. I'm just going to show you. Sarah, G-U-S-T-A-F-O-N. I have a speech impediment, guys. I'm so, so sorry. Number one, her word is tolerance. That's a good word. And so is possibilities. Yeah. Number two is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Number three is an emoji. Okay. Okay, so that's a possibility. Because I thought about an emoji, too. I had my own ideas here. Okay. Miriam Keblek. Quebec? Sorry. Um, oh, and Melissa wrote that eight hours ago. Sarah, 11 hours ago. Miriam, 15 hours ago. So Miriam was the first. Her first choice for word of the week is prioritize or challenge. Number two is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Number three, recording total steps or total word count. And number four, Janet Burgess, 571, 11 hours ago, wrote Peace for Word of the Week, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And then she said, flip the boxes and put Word of the Week. So, Janet, I'm, I, I'm sorry, sweetheart, I, I didn't want two words here. So I'm choosing Miriam. I'm choosing Miriam as the winner, guys. All of you guys, thank you so, so, so much for playing in this. Now, Miriam, I'm going to leave my email below. I want you to send me an email. 
because this one here makes sense to my life right now. The challenge, the movie, which is doing something different, and the total word count. As for the steps, uh, who else said record the steps? I thought there was another one. Yes, um, but you only, Helen, Helen said box three, how far you've walked in the week. So Helen, thank you. And Lori uh, said, put a sticker in the box. Okay, and then Tracy Morgan said, Ferris Bueller's day off and a sticker. So there was two votes for a sticker. Um, I like the total word count. So there's two lines here, how many words I wrote a day and the total word count. But remember guys, I'm taking this system out of this book after this week, after the fifth, and I'm moving it to a new system, but I'm gonna have those three boxes. So my word was persistence and Miriam's was prioritize or challenge. Challenge and persistence and prioritize are in the same kind of group. And then, of course, we know Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And then I had, um, I had total word count. So uh, it just looks like a plane. Like it looks like two, but it's total word count. Anyway, um, okay. So Miriam, you won my little little fun thanks for playing kind of deal. It's going to be something small. Just send me an email and um, I'll fire it off in the mail. We'll talk about it, okay? Because I certainly don't want to send you anything that... Oh, and this system, by the way, this system is a system that is not my system. It was created by Monique, Monique, Monique Smith at Monique Plans. <laughs> okay, now breathe. Lots to go through, that's why. That is why. You wouldn't believe my day today, folks. I'm not even kidding you. Uh, yeah, not even kidding you. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared for tomorrow. I'm just not prepared. Okay, so a couple of things. A couple of things. First of all, I don't know what to show you guys first. Really, I don't. You know what? Let's start on this, okay? Let's let's just take a breather. We'll start on this. Um, Cause that's what I need to do. I just need to sit and start on this and not, not make a huge deal of it. So I really just, I, it's killing me. I lost my other pen. Um, my other big pen and where can it go, right? Like, honestly, where could it go? I must've put it in a bag. The bag must be out in the vehicle and I haven't gone out there. So let's look at the monthly here. Can I drop you guys down? There we go. So Wednesday is the first, that's tomorrow. That is tomorrow. Where are my notes? Where are my notes? Oh, well, they are in here, aren't they? I have completely discombobulated my my life, my system, <laughs> everything. Um, I've had this book here for many, many years. Many, many years. I think it was a Dollar Tree one, too. I don't know. Um... Okay, so in here, we got to back it up. So this month I commit to, this month I commit to, and I want to make you sure you guys can see, is a sabbatical. And if I can't spell properly, guys, I'm sorry. 
because I know that's wrong. Sabbatical. Sabbatical. I think there's too many T's there. Looks wrong. I'm just going to say another word because that's what I tend to do. Going offline for 30 days. Okay. You know what? It doesn't say why. It doesn't say when. It doesn't say where. It doesn't say any of that. It just says my reward. Okay, so I'm going to say why. To invest time, because we all have the same 24 hours, right? In NaNoWriMo. And to smooth out my new schedule because I'm walking twice a day. Well, you know, guys, uh, it's about an hour. It's about an hour and 45 minutes I walk every day. I love to walk. In 2018, I was walking five hours a day. I kid you not. And I would just talk into my phone, all my work. Um, my reward is I don't know. I don't know what my reward will be from it. Does there have to be a reward for, for something you do? Uh, I don't think there has to be. I don't think just because, say, for example, I'll get, uh, like I lost a lot of weight, okay? I went on an intentional weight loss, okay? Uh, did I think I'd lose this much weight? Well, no, but I did. Uh, but did but did I at any point say, well, I'm going to lose weight so that, you know, I can buy a sexy new outfit? No, I didn't. Uh, when I've ever, every time I've ever tried to lose weight that way, it never worked that way. Uh if you go way back on this channel, you'll see me and there's a clip that I filmed and I was on my lounger and I filmed it trying to get off the lounger and it was meant to be humorous guys. It was meant to show people how with a bad back, how hard it is. Okay. And that was like, I had to, I had to really fight because I had like steroid injections for 11 years and I weighed almost 300 pounds. Well, I was like a beach freaking whale. My back, I couldn't take it anymore. So I went on a really dedicated, decisive, no more sugar. That sugar, by the way, is the number one addiction in the world. Number one, lots of addictions, but that's the number one. Okay, so I've got that going. My monthly goal is just not to be online. So what does online mean? Okay, well, online is, and, and here's the problem. Okay, NaNoWriMo wants me to be online in some degree. Do I allow for that? I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, do I make updates or posts or things like that? I doubt it. I'm a very private person to begin with anyway. I only like to share my stories with my quote unquote buddies. You can do buddies, you can do like public and you can do individual, okay? Now, when I say buddies, that means I can be a part of a team, which means that I can get together for events socially. And that's the whole point of me doing it. So, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to fill this out. The action steps aren't really action steps because it's just cut and dry. With me, it always is. If I want to do anything, I used to drink like a fish. And one day I just said, forget it. My liver's run away from home and that's enough. That's enough. So here it is here. 
and this is what I'm going to call social media blackout. Yeah, and the only thing I'm going to be writing on this is to do with NaNoWriMo, the blackout, like my feelings or thoughts or whatever on that. So this is going to be very specific towards the goals that lead me up to the manuscript. Now, um, I've got life to do, work to do, and notes. You bet. I, I, I don't have a lot of time, guys. I just, like I said, I just finished, and I'm not going to show you guys. I've got to make sure. It's a mess, and like I told you guys, I write everything by hand, and I've just started, like, typing stuff in. So, like, that literally, do you see it? It's a big old mess, okay? But that's how generally I work. That... <laughs> That is my first rough draft. And when, when you're talking rough, I'm talking rough. I mean, I still have notebooks like this one, okay? Where I still have, you know, papers and, you know, like this is what I work best in, okay? Because they're like floppy. I can throw them around. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things that I need to do during this month so that I don't burn out because I've got the two walks. I'm still gonna film even though I won't upload. Um, there's a couple of things, resources, go offline. I've had this book for a while. Uh, I think I thrifted it because of the sticker, but I'm not sure, I don't know. A guided journal for disconnecting. Uh, will I have time to go through it? I don't know, but if I freak out, uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, I think it's a really good idea to have some resources. And this is a resource, okay? Um, but NaNoWriMo in itself is not a big deal. I'll tell you why, because NaNoWriMo is the goal of 30 days, and I'll write that over here. I'm just going to do, because really, if I write NaNoWriMo here, that means I'm going to habit stack. Habit stack is putting two. Okay, so 30 days, which, you know what, I don't mind habit stacking. I've done it before. I mean, I didn't get where I am in life without habit stacking. So here's the thing. For each one of these days, because there's 30 days, the goal of NaNoWriMo, okay, and then also NaNoWriMo. Now, guys, like, like I said, I, I've done this for a long time, but I haven't participated in years, okay? So... The goal is in 30 days, you write 50,000 words. Okay, so if that's broken down, it's 1,666 words, decimal point, four sixes and a seven. So approximately 1,667 words per day. I write sometimes way, way more than that. Like you saw on that one day, 2,500 words, okay? But what what tends to happen is people go through this emotional roller coaster. Week one, they're feeling really good. Week two, it's like running a marathon, right? Week two, they're starting to like fall out of ideas. Week three, they're like, oh my God, I don't know what to write anymore. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. And week four, they're like, oh God, I got to give up the project, blah, 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 Okay. If you are doing NaNoWriMo, my advice to you from, from somebody who's like written a lot is if you feel stuck, type it. I'm stuck, 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 right? Because you can go in there and you can edit the program and you can say, just remove the word stuck, right? Same with curse words or anything else. You can just go in there and say, replace word with this and that, okay? Those programs are there. So... 
basically I'm going to habit stack. I'm going to go offline in order to write these words to do, you know, all my walks and rechange my, my, and the hardest part is basically this week. That's it. This is the hardest part. So I don't know. Um, so this will equal at the end. And like I said, what I've shown you, that first draft is not what I'm going to be. Like, I won't be copying that first draft. That first draft is is not what I'm putting in NaNoWriMo at all. You see, guys, I'm a bit paranoid. Uh -huh. I've always been a bit paranoid. So it'll be a side story. There's, there's, uh, there's a character in there that I, I would like to dive it a little deeper. I actually haven't really even character outlined this particular character enough to do that at this point, but that's okay. That's the whole point of NaNoWriMo. I'm just going to throw everything down on the page and hope it works out okay. It's a first draft, guys. It doesn't matter how crappy it is, okay? It's like your first drawing. Like, you gotta start somewhere. It's like your first step. You're gonna fall down. It doesn't matter. The point is to try. And so I am basically habit stacking, but not really, because the first thing is the, the 30 days of no social media. And really, Because I read it, it was a suggestion here, right here. 30 days of no social media. And when I read that, when I first got the book, I really associated with that. I really like resonated with that and thought, okay, um, this, this is something I have to do. And it's now or never. Like, when you get those thoughts, it's now or never. So, that means Instagram. That means YouTube. Uh, what's the other one? Well, any of them, really. Pinterest, I guess. All of those. All of them. Um, and then also, what I'm going to include in that is all of the eBay, um, Timu, um, AliExpress, Amazon, all of those. They're all gone for that month, all of them. The reason is, is I, the whole point is going offline, and I know I'm making a total mess of my book, but really this is what books are for. The whole point of going offline is to focus on resetting my priorities. Okay. So at the end of the day, all of that is for that. How are we doing for time? Good Lord. We are at 49 minutes already. We may or may not get down a sticker kit, but I do have a self care planner. Okay. So in month one, this is about instilling calm. Will I use it? I don't know. Will I reference it? Maybe. But there's week two. Things in week one. Week two, I might leave it blank and then just use it, read it. I mean... I'm still the same person. It gives you five weeks, but you know what? Like you can start it at any time, right? But it gives you 
it's it's basically the same thing every week after week. So having resources are good. My self self care intentions for the week. As you get, uh, as you schedule your week, keep your self care intentions in mind. So you know what? Like, it's all about instilling calm. Okay. And then the other resource I have is this planner, which I know I. I can tell by the sticky. I know, and this is um, a budget book. And it's not my normal one. But I want to see this month by removing the apps, what that does to my budget in regards to my hobby budget and my entertainment budget. So I have that resource. So I have three resources. Okay, and what else? I still have all my appointments. I'll be filling in all of this. I will like definitely show you all. And let's see if I can just put down a couple of stickers while I have time and start this baby up. Okay, that's the month, right? So where is, I guess the week probably fell in the last one, just like, yeah, here we go. So we actually have to back up. I was gonna say, because even in the planner that I just came out of, and I like pinning these off because I'm easily distracted, as you guys must know. So here we are. Here we are, come on you. So I'm just gonna start from Wednesday the 1st to the 5th. Can you guys see? I hope you guys can see. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these boxes down here for word counts. And because it's still on this week, I just I just want to add some a little bit of color. I don't know. Maybe put the weekend in there. Midday is kind of funny. Just wanna, usually I do pen to paper, which is why this is going to be really weird. the wrong one all together they make the weekends so big guys they really do so funny right as if you know i don't know like the weekends to me we have to start celebrating every day because to me, the weekends, a lot of people still work, so it's not really right. Okay, that's one long box. And I still have appointments in here, which I do today. I have two, as a matter of fact. Tomorrow I have three, oh my gosh. But one of them is to visit my daughter, so I'm not gonna complain, but it's gonna just be a go, go, go kind of day. Um, 12.45. And then two. And then 
did that wrong. Totally did that wrong, guys, because you know what? This is today. Because we're here today. Yep. This is kind of why I don't like to put sticker kits, honestly. Because I feel like it's all sticker kit, and then I hoop them right up. And, uh... Like, all of this down here, seriously, like, I might as well put this big old sticker down here, because all of this down here, line by line, I gotta get organized. I gotta, I gotta get all my programs installed. I've gotta, like, do so much. It's crazy. I've gotta get my walks instilled, and they are absolutely, like, a non- they will be done. Now, the great thing about NaNoWriMo, though, is that if you fall behind, you still have until the 30th to get it done. But I don't like to fall behind. I get really funny that way. So, it's funny. I was filling out, I was filling out things last night, and they wanted me to put more information than I wanted to give them, and I wasn't. Um, because I, once I start writing a story, guys, it, it kind of goes off in its own thing, its own little funky little place. You can go up there and hold him down. Thursday, I have an appointment. Do I have another box? I do. For one o'clock. And gosh, you know, guys, I couldn't lay a sticker down if my life depended on it, honestly. But this paper you can pull up so easily. What are we doing for time? I've only got about three minutes left with you. And it's going to be so hard for me. So hard for me, you guys. Um... To not communicate, to not see your comments. I will get to your comments today. Miriam, please, please, please send me the email. Um, I don't have any idea what I'm doing right now, guys, except adding color to this. Really, I don't. Oh my god, it's got this little card. Love. Let's get that card here. Because it's the first. And I really need to do like a lot of self-care. There's my book. And I got to think about all that wasted time. That's probably the key is all of those activities that I do all of the time that waste time. Because I can't be doing those. And of course, I got to add my butterflies. And you can go there. there. So I seriously will miss you all. Very, very, very much. But I will be back. I will have you all in my heart and my thoughts and my prayers. And I need, I need something else. You know, guys, every time I go to go, look at this card. I love this card. We're going to have two of those. I don't care. We're going to have one way over here. Mm. We can if I move him. Come on, butterfly. Sorry about my hand. Let's get him moved. 
I am not a decorative planner by any stretch of the imagination. I love these cards though. And it's kind of a hodgepodge. I don't like that one there. But I will put that down here. Crookedly. I, good Lord. I put a pumpkin inside of here. Because today is here. So we're still here. I'm going to put this tracker down here at the bottom. I'm going to put a word count box at the bottom. I've got a daily word count, but I want the weekly word count, which is very important. And also the fact, let's not forget that it's the whole point is to be social media free. So I'm going to use the butterflies right there to mark that. Put down some boxes here. Saturday. Hmm. Let's put this one down, even though. And then I'm just going to put this one here. Some flowers. So we got to take care of ourselves. I don't like that one there anyway. Now meeting, that's another one. There's going to be some meetings. Some will be Zoom meetings. Some will be like um, other meetings. Wednesday, Thursday, and I'm just going to put that up there. Okay, guys, um, the only thing I'm going to do now is put in some of my appointments so that I don't get all confused and muddled. So today is Tuesday. We are here. <laughs> we are here. My God. Okay. Let's not forget, so at 11 a.m. appointment, 1 p.m. I have my deep muscle massage, and boy, do I need it. And then I've got to uh, get organized, because I'm not. I do have my rough draft done of my... of my story, but that, that story is not what I'm using. So because it's not, um, sorry guys, um, uh, because it's not the story I'm using. Oh, there it is. What it means is that now I have to veer off, take another character and decide what to do with that other character. So for all I know, that other character might not fit, might not work. And that's okay. But so the whole goal is to go offline. So um, here is go offline. That's the biggest one. The second biggest thing is NaNoWriMo. If, if I had to pick between go offline and NaNoWriMo, 
it's going offline because it's the challenge. This is the 30 day challenge. Um, so of course here I have an appointment at 9.30. <laughs> but for two weeks, guys, I don't have any appointments. And then I have a 12.45 appointment at the clinic with a Dr. B. And then my eldest daughter, um, I'm going to say coffee with N and A, 2 p.m. Okay, and then Thursday, 1 p.m. And then something is going down Friday or Saturday. And you got to remember, guys, inside all of this, inside all of this is um, my walks, my regular stuff and everything else. So it will be a real challenge for me to see. I want to thank, I want to thank these people. Where did I put that paper? Did I rip it out? Did I leave it in? What did I do with it? Oh my goodness. I don't like, um, why? Did I leave it in? Yeah, I did. Um, I'm going to rip it out. I love this paper. Okay. So I want to thank everybody who participated and commented on yesterday's video. Thank you ever so much. Uh, Miriam Quebec. Not only were you the first one to respond... But I really like this total word count, um, prioritize or challenge. I think challenge because I started the whole September, October with challenge myself, remember? So I like the word challenge um, because it is, again, challenging myself within that time frame. Within that time frame. So that makes you the winner, honey. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I heard that somewhere. It's kind of silly, but... Um, I will fill in all of this. I will fill in... All of this. Action is the key to success. Action will be my fingers on a computer screen. I will fill in all of this. I hope you guys didn't mind my elementary thing. And all of this. And when I come back... You guys will see the whole month down up in this book, which will be one of the many books I have. And I will put up the few videos during that time. I will answer um, as many comments as I can. Marion, please get a hold of me today. The email will be in the box below. And to everybody else, know that I love you with all my heart. Thank you so, so much. Remember, you are loved, wanted, needed, far, far more than you will ever know. And I want to thank you for your encouragement, your support, your kindness. And just, just tell you that whether you stay or go, it doesn't matter to me, but some of your comments touch me so deeply, I could cry. I really could. And oh, tears, tears, tears. Sorry. Uh, I know it's only for a month, guys, but I miss you already. I do. So wish me luck. This is not as deranged as an assignment as Julia and Julie, where she takes the art of mastering French cooking and does it for a year. This is only a month. It's only 30 days. But everything in the world is electronic and online. So we will see how we do. In the meantime, know you're thought of and that I care. And I will see you soon. And that every video after today is pre-recorded or will be ones that I cannot respond to. Okay, guys? Thank you.
and see you soon in 30 days. Bye-bye.